Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Jonathan Soul Sales at Mitchell Mazda on the Boulevard in Enterprise, Alabama. And today I wanna to talk about Mazda USA, Mazda crossovers, Mazda vehicles, Mazda, the import brand. So let's jump in. So Mazda started as an import brand over a hundred years ago. However, as a small manufacturer through the years, they relied on help of other auto manufacturers to continue and to be able to support and build new vehicles as expensive as research and development and production is. The largest backing and, and most memorable name was Ford Motor Company as they in the mid 90s invested money and purchased the owning majority share of Mazda. So they really had control on a lot of design, a lot of shared parts at that point, and also a lot of domestic reliability problems. Fortunately for Mazda in the mid 2000s and the beginnings of a financial crisis, Ford started selling off other automotive brands that it uh, invested in or that it owned. And Mazda was one of those. And by 2015, they had sold all their shares of Mazda. And what that meant for Mazda is they could start developing their own transmissions, engines, style, and vehicles. And that was the beginnings of the Sky Active Design Language Theory. The sky is the limit. And the first vehicle to market with that was the Mazda CX-5 here behind me. Of course, it wasn't this CX-5. This is the second generation. It was the first generation CX-5 and many more Mazda vehicles to follow. However, they shifted to more of an import brand with no vehicles being made in this country uh, from 2012 Ford. And since those early 2000s, Mazda has seen a dramatic growth dramatic improvement in reliability, styling, and overall consumer and driver happiness. So when you're shopping a vehicle or looking specifically at your Mazda, there's a few things to keep in mind and I wanna point those out before we close this video today. The first thing is to point out where the vehicle is made. So a couple ways you can do this. The first one is when you go to the window sticker here, you see parts content information. I'm sorry this is dark, it'll be more visible on other models. You can see that US and Canadian parts are 5% on the CX-5, 90% Japan, and then it also shows that it was uh, assembled in Hiroshima, Japan, and the engine is Japanese, and the transmission is Japanese as well. Also, you can check the VIN plate right up here. As you see that it starts with a J, let's see if we can get in there. See that it starts with a J? That means that it is in fact made or assembled in Japan. And also in the VIN plate here, you can see that it's manufactured, let's see the focus, manufactured by Mazda Motor Corporation. And Mazda Motor Corporation is in Japan. And of course you can see the VIN there as well with the J. Now, as you look at vehicles, J of course stands for Japan. There's other letters that handle or cover other areas in uh, Asia and um, Europe. However, on this hemisphere, everything in North South America starts with a number. So in the case of this CX-30, which we'll look at this one right here, you see that this VIN starts with a three and in fact is assembled in Salamanca, Mexico. However, the engine is Mexico made and the transmission comes from Thailand. The CX-30 is 10% US and Can Canadian, 65% Mexico and 20% Japan. And so as we uh, again further look inside, this VIN plate says Mazda Motor Manufacturing of Mexico so it shows you where it was assembled. And of course that VIN, as you saw, starts with a three. There are CX-30s made in other locations. Uh, however, everything that services uh, our market here is from Mexico. Now we know that about 10 years after production for Mazda vehicles stopped in the country, it came back with this beautiful CX-50 made right here in Alabama. So Alabama production or North American US production starts with a number. And this one, if you'll focus here, starts with a seven. 
and again tinted windows back here so you can read that this one is 50 percent us and Can canadian 30 percent mexico 15 percent japan final assembly po uh, point is madison alabama country of origin the engine was uh, from mexico and the transmission was from japan so this vehicle is final point assembled here in america but you can see it's still involving other uh, mazda parts from other mazda plants across the globe and i'm excited to have the cx50 available and excited to see the growth of production that it's going to see this year in 2024 also the other big production leader of course is the cx30 and we are going to be pulling more allocation from other locations around the globe to fill north america so it's going to be exciting the last vehicle i want to talk about of course is this beauty right here the mx5 miata as we call it here and this one of course as you know by looking at the vin j for japan and this one zero percent us and canada 90 percent japan the engine and transmission is from japan and of course miata is always the answer and so much fun i didn't highlight the actual uh, monroney label or window sticker but the cx90 is 90 percent J japanese as well of course assembled in japan and you may be wondering why there's no a hundred percent uh, Jap Japanese vehicles and that's because they always source some parts bushing seat covers etc from other markets and other uh, plants across the globe some from everywhere which makes the perfect Mazda so Mazda is an import brand and of course we're not here to debate the quality I think the reliability and the quality that we know speaks for itself but if you have any questions of where your vehicle was assembled, you can always look at the Monroney window sticker, the VIN plate, or the label inside the door jam to get more information. Or you can always comment down below with any questions. But I think we know that imports are very special and uh, Mazda holds a special place in my heart. And I'm excited to see your Mazda passion. You can text me at 334-718-0504. I'll be here on the boulevard and I'll see you on the next one.